All right, guys, doing a uh, unboxing on a Zosi DVR security camera system. It's a four channel unit, um, 1080p, four cameras. They're all bullet cameras, 100 foot night vision. And this is the uh, package from Amazon. So this looks like it's the uh, DVR. This one has a one terabyte hard drive in it and also a mouse. So here's a DVR unit, pretty small. Just a USB in the front. It's gonna take a handful of uh, connections here. We got uh, four video inputs, a video output, an audio output, VGA, HDMI, and four audio ins. So if you have cameras that uh, can record audio, then uh, you can put those in there. Um, we have the uh, Cat5 connection and then the power cable. Here's the uh, accessory box. Looks like we have a uh, power adapter as well as a uh, two button mouse with a scroll wheel. This must be to set it up. Next box is the uh, camera kit. All right, so it looks like we have a power adapter for the four cameras, a power brick, for the four cameras. Install instructions for the cameras. And this looks like the cameras here. Nice build, they're white. Adjustment screws here. There's all the uh, infrared little lens hood for the sun and these are white so they'll uh, match my uh, eaves in my house and then we also have uh, 60 foot of cable so this is for each camera there is a power adapter and a video connection B and C connector I believe and these are on each end cameras plug in very simple just push in twist and then you're locked in. Also gives you a little setup guide here. You can connect the uh, DVR right to the ethernet cable and then you download the app, scan the code, and uh, this is gonna be the code for your camera system. So one thing that I liked about this uh, setup was is that it can record in 1080, 30 frames a second. You have that option uh, for this box. Um, these cameras are also a, they're more of a narrow view. I believe they're about a 70, 75 degree viewing angle. So they're not going to be super wide. So you can actually get some detail if you want to see something close up. Um, there's also 36 um, infrared LEDs on the front and that's gonna give you really good night vision. Should be about 100 feet when these are set up in total darkness. All right now, so I just plugged in everything, got uh, one camera powered up, got the mouse powered up as well as the unit and I uh, got the power adapter for the cameras, camera plugged into camera one and I am looking at them on the TV. Got a TV in my garage here so um, We'll be setting up the cameras here and uh, let you guys know how it goes. So for the first camera, I'm going to be placing it right up underneath my uh, fascia of my house and uh, that'll get a good view of my driveway. So here's the first camera installed. Let me show you where it's at. So these are super easy to install. Just put two screws up in to the uh, house here, and then I'm gonna drill a hole 
right here to go up into the attic of the garage to run the wires. That gets a nice view of my driveway. So here's the hole that I drilled. Now I'm just gonna feed the wires through. All right, so what I'm doing now is I need to fish this wire through my uh, attic for the uh, camera that's gonna be on the corner of my house. Um, now you note that there's two different ends on these connectors here. There's the male end and a female end. And on this end, there's a female end. You wanna make sure that you feed the wire through the right way. So I wanna send this one through the attic so it'll actually plug into the uh, connectors there. So while I'm up there feeding this cable, I'm gonna make sure that I run the ethernet cable at the same time. So that's gonna, what's gonna be uh, connected to my router inside for the uh, system. So I'm gonna be running the uh, camera cables and power cables through my uh, garage into my attic here. There's a spot where I have some uh, other electrical conduit and a phone line going through. So I'm gonna feed these through with a long pole and grab them from the other side in the attic. All right, so I'm up in the attic now, and that pole right there is the one with the uh, wires on it. So the wires are on the end there, and I'm running it through the attic up here, and I'm running it all the way to the other end. That pole that I have right there is going through the uh, little soft vent, and that's where I'm gonna pull the wires to to get the camera outside. All right, so I got this system almost set up completely. I have uh, the camera set up in my garage. I have uh, just ran the cable for uh, this third camera here. This one's uh, right in the corner of my garage over there. The wires are just run loosely. The other camera is coming out of that corner over there. That's this one on my front door. And then this one is the camera that I just ran the cable. Um, Looks like there's a bunch of dust flying around. It's a little foggy outside, so that's what that is. Um, you can see here the infrared from this camera that is right here is interfering. So these two right here are the lights from the infrared. So it's kind of um, toying with the uh, system. But um, it's pretty clear. Nighttime works really well. My front door. Driveway, front yard. So I'm pretty happy with that. The next uh, camera up here is gonna be in my backyard. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the uh, alerts and everything. So if you right click in the screen here, you can go to the main menu. There's a setup, a search, backup, and uh, information about the system here. You go to the setup. There's one right here that says alarm. That's where you set up all of the alerts. There's one right here that says motion. You click on the motion, there's each channel here. There's four channels for each camera, one channel for each camera, and then you have the settings. So um, you can do different things. It can take a snapshot, you can email you out the alerts, um, and then it can record one camera or all the cameras here. Um, so I have it set up for just snapshot right now, and then I'm gonna hit okay, go backwards, and then this area is where you adjust where the um, alerts get sent to. So anything that has a grid is going to send an alert. If you want to exclude, let's say this area, you can just drag and select this area and it won't send you any alerts for that area. In this, this case, I want to keep that. Um, if you did have something you didn't really care about, you could um, move and adjust like over here. If your neighbors would walk by, you could turn this off here. Um, so once you save that, you can just click save and then you can go back out. And then you can set it to only do that during certain times. So if you only want it to do the alerts at a certain time, you can set that here. All right, so going back here, um, to set up your alerts here. So to go to your network settings, you click into this network right here. And once you click it, it takes a second for it to start loading. And you can set up um, all of your information for what the IP address and everything is for everything. Um, then you can set up your email address so I can set up where my stuff is going in that tab 
And then if you need to set up any different things, you can do that there. Um, users, you can create different users here. I currently just have one user with a password. And then if you go to the main menu here, you can go to search and you can say, hey, let me search um, this day. Let me search the 14th, which was yesterday. Event search here. And you can just hit search. And these are all the times where it's triggered a motion sensor. Right now I have the settings a little um, too sensitive. So it's creating a lot of alerts here. Um, if you want to look at your hard drive, you can go to um, the setup. And then you go to record. And then you can see the recording quality. So I have it 1080p at 30 frames a second for everything. Um, and then also it includes a timestamp. And um, if you start recording too much, it'll just record over itself. So I wanted to, that was the nice part about this. This is it has the highest quality of recording. Um, the other nice part about this is, is you can kind of um, set up the scan mode. So if you click on one camera, you can do have it set up to do a smart scan. And it'll just scan through all the different cameras and modes. So if you had a screen on, you can just have it cycle through all of those. Um, and then also, let's say you wanted to zoom in. You can click onto this one, right click, and then you can do easy zoom. And then wherever you click, you can zoom in. So it's got pretty good quality here. You can uh, definitely see everything that's a neighbor's house a couple, couple hundred feet away. And you can see that pretty well. So overall, pretty happy with the system here. All right, so here's the uh, Zosi app. You have live preview, playback, device manager, message center, media files, and more. So if you go to live preview in the top right corner, you can select all of your cameras and hit start live view. Takes a second to uh, load them all up, and then it'll pull them all up, and you can see uh, different cameras here. I got three of the uh, four cameras set up, and uh, go into them, you just double click. And you can see them full screen. You can swipe left and right to see the, each camera. That's one that doesn't have anything on it. And then you can finish up by seeing the last one there. Um, if you want to go back, you can show four cameras. So click on the four in the bottom. And then if you want to go to playback, you can also do the same thing. So you have to go to the top right. You select the day that you want to review. Click the checkbox, start live view. And then it'll show you a little green bar on the time that you can uh, look around. So click and drag, hold. And you have to give it a minute when you're doing it over the connection because it takes a second to um, buffer. Um, I've had a couple errors where it didn't really work. Um, but usually if you do it a couple times, it'll go back to the hour that you're looking for. If you're playing back footage, it's a lot, lot easier to do it on the system than it is to do it on the uh, app. So it didn't jump ahead to the time that I wanted, so let's try again. Let's try 4 o'clock in the morning. It says connecting. And then we'll say playing, buffering. Still says stop. And still 12 o'clock. Let's try it again. Let's do 4 o'clock again. Buffering. Time says 12. Stopping. And it's playing continuously at the 12 o'clock. So I've had a couple issues with it. Um, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you can also go in and here and name each camera. So you can add, edit the name there. And then if you download some screenshots or video, you can uh, put it there. Um, mostly I just use the live preview to kind of have it sitting there, know what's going on. 
if you turn the camera sideways, it'll display the uh, video in a big screen. And then one thing that I like to do is if you're on the camera, you can click this little button down here. Um, it looks like a little screen. And you can click on high. And that streams it as high quality, so you can see a lot of detail there. So it'll change the quality there. All right, so I just want to finish up with a few things that I like about this system. I like about uh, the app, and it's pretty easy to use. Um, it's self-explanatory with the mouse. Having this system with the DVR is nice. You can plug in a USB flash drive and export video out of it, um, as well as the uh, image quality. I was very impressed with the uh, image quality. Right now it's nighttime here, and uh, very impressed with the, the quality of the images, especially when you need to uh, click on them and go full screen here. And you can see everything, uh, a lot of detail, um, and it works really well at nighttime. So overall, I'd be, I'd buy this product again, and very happy with it.